Just weeks after the Indian Space Research Organization successfully dived into the commercial space market for heavy payloads with the launch of 36 OneWeb satellites aboard GSLV Mark III, it is now ready to take the next step forward. Hello and welcome to First Post Explained. I'm Srishti Chaudhary, journalist with News18.com and I'm here to give you an update on India's latest space rockets and all the upcoming missions. In the coming days, ISRO will send a new rocket into space from its launch pad at Sriharikota near Andhra Pradesh. The rocket has been developed by a space startup based in Hyderabad called Skyroot Aerospace. It will be the first time India will launch a rocket privately developed by an indigenous company and they have aptly named the mission Praramb, which literally means a beginning. Now let's get to know a little more about this mission. The launch vehicle has been named Vikram S. It's the first from the Vikram series designed by the company and named after the father of India's space program, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. It's a single stage test rocket, which basically means that the entire rocket will go up into space as one unit. It's mostly designed to cater to the market of smaller satellites, it has a payload capacity of 290 to 480 kgs for the low earth orbit. For the upcoming mission, it will carry three small payloads. Now, the latest update is that the launch window from 12th to 16th November has been confirmed and if all goes well, the launch can happen on any of the days. The company would eventually like to pitch Vikram S as one of the most affordable rockets for launch of smaller satellites, a market that has been growing steadily across the globe. According to the startup, the rocket can be assembled and launched within 24 hours from any of the launch sites. But why is this mission important? So ISRO has been undertaking the regular exploratory missions including uh, Mangalyaan, Chandrayaan and now Gaganyaan. But the government is keen to promote private investment into the sector to tap into the demand driven services. So in 2020 it opened up the space sector for private investment. In fact, Skyroot was the first startup to tie up with ISRO. And since then, as many as 60 startups have registered with ISRO, thanks to the efforts made by its commercial arm, New Space India Limited, and support from InSpace, set up by the government to boost the private space economy in India. In fact, the OneWeb mission that the agency recently undertook in October was the result of one such commercial arrangement. Also, there has been a lot of focus on pitching ISRO or India's space capabilities as one of the most cost-effective options for global players to inject a satellite into space. This is also the reason why ISRO had decided to launch its own SSLV rocket and tested it for launch in August this year with an Earth observation satellite. Though the vehicle had a perfect liftoff, the mission could not succeed and satellites were rendered non-functional. To just give you a brief account, India has been providing launch services for customer satellites since 1999, but now it really wants to scale it up. There's a huge demand for launch of smaller satellites, less than 500 kgs, which require less turnaround time and minimum infrastructure. Then it has, it, it has its old workhorse, the four-stage versatile PSLV, which has been ISRO's go-to vehicle for almost all its launches since its maiden mission in 1993. The medium lift launch vehicle, which was also used for Chandrayaan-1 in 2008 and Mangalyaan in 2013, has launched as many as 345 satellites from as many as 36 countries. It's the most reliable rocket out there. In 2017, it launched 104 satellites in one single mission. Third is ISRO's heaviest launcher, meant for mostly communication satellites. The GSLV Mark III, which has now been named Launch Vehicle Mark III or LVM III, can ca carry heavier satellites up to 4,000 kgs to the GTO, which is the Geosynchronous Transfer Orbit, and 8,000 kgs into the Low Earth Orbit. The last mission with OneWeb was a successful demonstration of the rocket, which carried its heaviest payload of nearly 6,000 kgs. And guess what? It is gearing up to launch another set of 36 more satellites or one web very soon. The 43 meter tall GSLV will also be used for Gaganyaan, India's first human space flight. So that's all for now. Keep watching First Post for more such informative videos. Thank you.